Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Trailmakers. Uh, this time I'm on I'm on a massive aircraft carrier because we're going to be building some plane thing. Uh, someone suggested to me in the last video I should try and build a plane within a plane within a plane. This is Planeception. Uh, now I haven't had too much experience building planes so this is probably going to go terribly but let's get into it. So I think the way this works is you build your little plane first. So let's grab an aerodynamic cockpit. Let's turn on aerodynamics to pretend that we know what we're doing. And I've then turned mirror mode. I've never used mirror mode before. It looks like if I build on one side it will build for me on the other side I guess. Oh, nah I never knew that. So I feel like I probably want a dragon jet. So perhaps I can shove those on either side. Maybe move them down a bit. And then for the wings, perhaps I can use a tail fin. Yeah, I reckon a couple of those could work. Um, what I might do, I might actually put them on a bit of a mechanical piece. Like I want like I want something that spins, I think. So maybe a rotating servo or can I use a hinge? Yeah, I think I want the servo. So we'll rotate that. Shove our wings there and then I can configure these. I imagine I want the angle to be really small. Let's just go five degrees. And if I want to tilt left, so this is like my my tilt. So if I want to barrel like right, Q and E for my controls. And then I've just shoved like a ball on the front just because it's funny. Right, cool. Next up, we just need the tail stuff, which I think I can just shove a large hinge like there. And if I do two of those, they should go together. Let's just configure them so left and right, left and right, yep. And then I think I just want the same again, but like the other orientation. So when I stick that one on, if I rotate it like that way, and I think I want that to be W and that to be S. So then I should just be able to move the tail sort of independently of the front in both directions, right? And for the tail, I just want more tail pieces essentially, so I want... Those two like that, and then those two like that. Or is there another tail piece that I can shove in the middle? Oh yeah, these actual tail fins, I think they go in the middle. So, All right, so something like that, I reckon, for the tail. And then I just got to connect them with various pieces. So I think if I just shove some of these under there, that's a as an extremely aerodynamic block. So I can just go plonk plonk and then if I just put like a, a 1x4 in there which is one of these block 1x4 so you shove that in there by rotating then I reckon that might be a plane although I'm missing I am missing wheels I mean since I'm trying to keep this really small because remember it's going to fit inside another plane uh, maybe I'll just add skids to the bottom like that right shall we shall we give that a go so there is my hey where are you going where are you going come back no please please Oh, it's gone. <laughs> anyway, now we'll jump in. And uh, now we'll have a go and see whether it does actually fly. Uh, but yeah, we are we are definitely flying now. This is actually, it's not too bad. Right, so yeah, this flies absolutely perfectly, if I'm honest. So I think we'll try and land. Uh, probably going to be easier said than done. But once we do, let's just get the right height. Right, there we go. There we go. Perfect landing. Yes. <laughs> Well, anyway, now we have the job of turning this into another plane. Now, I'm, I've seen on here, like, I think it's a mechanical piece. Yeah, detachable block. So I'm pretty sure if I attach something with that, then I might be able to, like, drop out the bottom. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really researched this. I don't know how it's going to work. But uh, only one way to find out, right? So let's grab a detachable block. I might turn on the mirror mode again. So detachable block go over there. Then if we configure that to not space, I don't know, um, shift or something, then I assume whatever I build around it, it will let go so that we can then fly this, which means we've now got to build a plane that covers this. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think, because basically we're building like a hollow cargo plane, I think. So I'm sort of thinking for the body. What if we go with a maybe a two by four wedge and rotate it like that? So if I shove that there and then sort of come back this way a bit, then I have a feeling that's going to be that's going to be huge. Okay, maybe I want to go like a bit more vertical for the for the edge pieces. And since I want to do this thin, like I want it to be like very, very hollow, if that makes sense. So I think I use these on the edge. Right, nice. Then I can just copy these down here. And then I assume I want to leave the bottom open, but I do, I definitely want to wrap the top up. So let's do a few of these. So we've got some, some sort of edge to build over. 
can do a few of those. Oh, it's actually, it's looking quite plainish to be fair. Let's copy these again and go up. And then we just got to copy that. Now we've got a bit of a bit of a problem there. We've got the tail sticking out. So perhaps what I should do, maybe I should like move all of this plane down a bit. Yeah, there you go. So if we do that instead, then we can we can close the lid and then we can <laughs> then we can try and turn this into a plane. So we've got to somehow make the front a bit more aerodynamic. All right, so from the front, it's it's not pretty, but engineering often isn't pretty. Uh, we then need to sort of try and turn this into a plane. So we need, well, we need wings, definitely. So how the hell do you create big wings in this game? Oh, this is going to look weird. We do something like that, maybe. I mean, it sort of looks plainish. And then we're going to need a lot of thrust for this. So if I grab loads more dragon jets... Right, so that's a lot of thrust out the back. I feel like that should be good. We just need to have like a way of steering this. Um, and we, we obviously need some wheels and things as well. So what I'm thinking for the wheels, you know, we could use a piston and then attach them like inside somewhere. Then we can just shove that there. Can I, can I put two next to each other? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's good. So then if I just grab that, can I do similar at the front? Right, so... That could work. We just need to work out the steering on this thing. Yeah, so I'm sort of thinking if I maybe if I just add like another wing, I could almost do it like behind these rockets. Does that really matter if they get burnt? Probably not. So I've just shoved a steering hinge here. I want that to be connected to W and S. Right, so that tail thing will go up and down, hopefully allowing us to take off. We can't currently steer left and right, but uh, I sort of I want to get into this and see. Oh, we're a bit we're a bit back heavy. But uh, look, we're taking off now. Nice. So pull up. Pull no. up. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, it needs it needs a little bit of work. So I think what we need is probably a bigger tail fin. So let's make it wider like that. And then probably more wingage as well. Right, so is this any better? Right, ready? Pull up. Pull up. Yes. Oh, too much, too much, too much. <laughs> And I think in order to add steering, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna widen this wing and then add a servo in the gap. So basically I want that wing to like rotate and that's on A and D. Yep, I want the angle to be like 30-ish. Alright, so now you can see when I do left, we go like that, right is like that, so that's good. And then pull up, pull down. Decent. Okay, the only thing not decent is we've we've got the big gap in the runway. So I might just move to the side. Right, this doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, the front is a bit ugly. It looks like a plane, in my opinion. So let's see what happens. So it's first maiden voyage. Let's take off. Oh, it's pulling up. It's pulling up. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. All right, I'll tell you what. I think to stop it flipping forward, maybe if I just add the servos to these front ones as well, but then bind them to W and S. Right, okay, that's much better. So turning, we literally... Oh, goodness. <laughs> ah, this thing's sensitive. So there you go. You can see the wheels are fully retracted. Oh, so it is so sensitive. Maybe I need to, like, like make the angle smaller, maybe? Because, look, when I when I try and do, like, a left and right, it proper just... Whoop. <laughs> anyway, shall we... Let's say we're, we're about to crash. Like, we're out of control. So let's hit shift. We're well and truly trapped. <laughs> Everyone look away, please. Nothing to see here. Okay, so maybe I need to make this thing break apart a bit more. These detachable blocks, they're only it's, it's two by two. Could I just replace these with them? So if I delete all of these roof panels and then just fill them up with this, I think I just need to detach the front from everything and then attach them with these blocks. I think that sounds good to me. All right, so slightly modified. Let's take off and see if it's any better. Right, first off, seems a lot more stable, so this is good. So let's try and head over to the left. Let's bring our wheels up as well. Man, look at this thing. It's so, like, chody. It's like the chodiest airplane that ever was. So we'll fly over the map a bit. All right, and then I guess we'll we'll hit left shift. We're still trapped inside. <laughs> Come on, little plane. Come on. Yes, we're free. We're free. All right, now pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, we did it. We did it. And we crashed into a barrel. <laughs> hmm, I think it needs it needs a bit of work, but uh, the, the idea is sort of right. We've also got make scrap. 
I might select for that and see what that does. I mean, if that were to make everything scrap, so it just like disintegrates, that would be good. So left shift. Oh, is that what I want to do? Okay, so let's just mark all these top ones as well. All right, so then, boosh. No, we're still trapped. We're still trapped. Although we are, we're free. All right, so I guess time to put this inside another plane, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use these pieces because they are the biggest. I think I'm going to lower this slightly. All right, and then we just cover the plane in that, I guess. All right, so now you might think I've just put it in a box. No, 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 no. This, this is a plane. We add enough wings to this. Make sure they're sort of in the middle. Then we've made a plane within 700 pieces. <laughs> Definitely counts. <laughs> I mean, technically, I don't even need the wheels in this one. If I can save more parts, then I can add more engines, which means hopefully we can take off. Because at the moment, we don't have the power. All right, so engines. We need power to get moving. Will it move this? Yes, it's moving. It's moving. So will it take off? Yes. No. <laughs> There's something I also want to do. I want to make that control. So, control to split into the first plane, like that. Oh, that was actually quite cool. And then shift to break into that one. Oh, decent. Okay, okay, you got this, I got this. Okay, here we go. Take off, take off. Uh, no, it's failing. But then we can take off in this. Yes. So, that's a plane within one plane, right? <laughs> and then this ugly thing, we can go, whoa, we're out of control. So, get rid of it. Boosh. And we're, we're out of there. See you later, plane. I wish the whole thing exploded a bit more. Um, but yeah, now we're now we're floating above the trees. Nice and safe. Oh, decent. Okay, I think we achieved today. Uh, commenters, you, you might disagree. Fair enough. You're, you're allowed your own opinion. <laughs> oh, it's not my finest moment, is it? All right, anyway, peace, love, and drowning at the bottom of the sea. Bye, guys.